LSU has a ton of injuries right now, so their first off weekend comes at a good time. Other than the injuries, though, through four games, things could not look brighter for the LSU Tigers. Here's one number to start with. In four games, LSU has scored 231 points. Doing the math, that's 57.8 points per game. Now, the highest scoring LSU team in the history of LSU football was the national championship team of 2007, which averaged 38.6 points a game. So do the math. This year's LSU Tigers are scoring 19 points a game more than the highest scoring Tiger team ever. And you know what? It starts with that guy. The new LSU offense fits exactly what he does best in completion percentage. Burrow completed 58% of his passes roughly last year. That was 144th best in America. This year, quicker throws in the spread offense and he is completing roughly 81 percent of his throws the best in America last year he was tied for 108th in America with 16 TD passes through four games this year he already has 17 that's tied for second best in the country passing yards he's gone from 50th to second and the cumulative number the passer efficiency he's gone from 70th to second he is also now second on the West Skate Superbook Heisman Trophy odds. These are the top five, and this is where they started the season. So in a month, Joe Burrow has gone from a 200 to 1 long shot to squarely in the hunt. Now, Pro Football Focus does a weekly Heisman watch. Four weeks in, they have Joe Burrow number one on the list. Sure, Florida, Auburn, Alabama, those games all still coming, but it is an amazing start. And not just for Burrow. Pro Football Focus grades every player in every major college football game and in Saturday's win over Vanderbilt, three Tigers graded as the best in the nation at their position, and Burrow was not one of them. The Commodore somehow targeted freshman cornerback Derek Stingley nine times with very little success. Check out the numbers. Stingley got his first college interception and three more PBUs. That's passes broken up. So on the season, that's seven PBUs, one interception, eight passes defensed. That is tied for the best in America, and he's a true freshman. He was America's highest rated cornerback this week. Also highest rated in America, Rommel wideout Jamar Chase, the best wide receiver, and Adrian McGee was the highest rated guard. He's a senior from Franklinton, and if you haven't seen it yet, you have to see this. Second quarter, that's McGee at left guard. The stunt comes towards him, and that is what is called a pancake. But he's not done. Watch McGee. Joe Burrow holds onto the ball. McGee gets a second pancake on the same play. That is ridiculous because four games in, this is how good LSU has been. The Tigers again are off this weekend. They then have an 11 a.m. date with Utah State the following week. And then what we expect will be a 2.30 CBS game here on Channel 4 against Florida on October 12th.